what are we going to stuff in our Kong for our puppy? You see the table has cream cheese and yogurt and sweet potato and pumpkin and canned food and dry food and fruit and vegetables. All these things you can stuff into your puppy's Kong. We're going to show you a number of great recipes that you can use to make a fun Kong for your puppy and for your dog. Before you can make up all these nice recipes and have your puppy enjoy the Kong, you need your dog to learn how to use it. So you put in some dry dog food, or if you're not using dry dog food, you put in some treats, dry treats, and you put it down on the ground, and as it rolls, the food comes out. And as the food comes out, your dog learns to eat the food. So your dog then learns to pick it up and drop it, and they learn to roll it. So that's the first key. Don't give your dog a stuffed frozen Kong until they know how to use it. Okay, so now we're ready. We can add some water to the, con to the dry food, get it a little softer, and then we can spoon it into the Kong so that there's a little bit of food in there, but it's not all dry. And it's a little harder for your dog to get the dog food out. But it will still come out with a little bit of work. So as the Kong rolls, it does come out, but it's a little harder. So now your dog has learned how to roll the Kong and get the food out. Now we're ready to make all kinds of nice recipes with your Kong. First one we're gonna make is with canned food. If your dog likes or eats canned food, then you can simply take some canned food and put in the Kong you can put in some of the dry food with the Kong. Put in some dry food first. Then you can put in a spoonful of canned food. And use a spoon to put it in. It works better that way, more than a knife. That way you have the canned food in there with the dry food. And so if your dog eats canned food and dry food, you have a nice Kong and this can be your dog's breakfast or lunch or dinner. And your dog can lick the canned food and the dry food. So that's a great way not to use extra calories. Now, if you have a puppy, you want to use the pink or the blue Kong. So I'm going to let Nick demonstrate with this. I don't use canned food and I don't use dry food. I use a raw food diet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my raw food and put it in the Kong. And this is how Nikki and BZ get their meals many times. And then as I hand it to Nikki, she is going to lick it. And this is great exercise, great for your dog, and your dog gets their meal in the Kong. So in adding to Nikki's Kong, Nikki loves lettuce and lettuce is good for your dog. So when I give Nikki her raw food, many times I put in a piece of lettuce. Nikki also likes cucumbers. So you can add the lettuce and the cucumber to the Kong, and then they can lick the Kong. Or you can put in a couple treats if you wanna do that. And the lettuce, of course, has less calories, so, and she can have her Kong. Pumpkin is very good for your dog. So frequently, along with the raw food and the lettuce, cucumber, I will put in a little bit of pumpkin so that you can put it in a bowl, mix it all up, and put it in together. Or as I'm doing, you can just add a little bit to the Kong, and then put in a little bit more raw food. Nikki is getting her meal in the Kong. Okay. If your dog does not eat raw food, 
and they eat dry food. Then you have the soaked kibble that you put in the Kong. And then you can add your pumpkin and you can add lettuce, cucumber, uh, celery, green beans. There's lots of vegetables you can add. A great summer Kong is to take yogurt. And if you take a little bit of yogurt and add some blueberries. Blueberries are great for your dogs. Add a couple blueberries. Raspberries are good. Add a couple raspberries. And we can mix it all up. And we can put that in the Kong for a nice summer Kong. Now, once your puppy learns to lick the Kong, then we can freeze it. And you can put in a couple dog treats there and put in a little bit. And if you want, you can put a little bit of your dog food on top. So once again, this has yogurt, raw food, blueberries, and raspberries. So you can see how many different Kongs you can make for your dogs. And what I do is I just make, make them up and freeze them. Now, if you want to use cheese or hot dogs or baby food, all those things are good to use as well. Cream cheese, peanut butter. My dogs don't care for peanut butter, but make sure when you're using the peanut butter that it's an all natural with no xylitol in the peanut butter. So what are your favorite Kong recipes for your puppy? If you have a large puppy and you can take and put some treats in the bottom so that they can reach the bottom and you can put your dry food in and then you can add some pumpkin maybe a little bit of cheese you know what you're doing is couple blueberries, raspberry. You can make this up in any way you want to. You have to test and see what your dog likes. Nikki loves lettuce. Beezy doesn't. She'll eat it, but it's not her favorite. But if your dog likes lettuce, great. And now you could top it off with a little bit of peanut butter. You don't want to give too many extra calories, but if you took a Kong like this and put in some more of your dry food, so what your dog is getting is they're getting more of their dog food and little less of the other fillers then this is a great Kong for your dog remember in the last video and I'll put the link above on ways to use the Kong and the one before that which was the correct size to buy for your Kong it told you what size to buy so that you don't buy one that's too large or too small and also how to use it. It's great for puppy teething. It's great for separation anxiety, for uh, handling exercises. The list just goes on and on and I'll, I'll put the link above to those videos. So you have a puppy or you have an adult dog and you make them up and you freeze them, put them in your freezer. I always have at least three frozen, and then I get them out when I need them, and my dogs can enjoy their Kongs. In many of my Kongs, I put my homemade dog treats, and I'll put a link in the description. These are chicken and pumpkin, and they are great to put in the Kong. Very few calories, and great for your dogs to be in the Kong as well. This is what I use to fill the Kongs for my dogs. You can be creative. Just remember, don't use any raisins or grapes or chocolate or onions. But you can use fruits, vegetables, turkey, chicken, cheese, hot dogs, so many different things. 
and you can put them in your Kong and stuff them. Your puppy will have a great time licking the filling from their Kong. Please remember, press that like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you receive all the episodes. Thank you. Bye from Nikki and Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.